what about gut health? What are your thoughts on that? Because that's one of the things that I I hear a lot more about. Um, and there's a, a probiotic that I take called Renadil, and I think you're familiar with it, correct? I am, yeah. So I'm, I'm really glad that you're bringing this up because gut health is something that is gaining more and more polarity in the um, – in the the news and the in our discussion as even providers because more research is coming out related to its really good importance related to systemic inflammation and then also linking to chronic disease so when we talk about gut health we're really kind of talking about um, our gut integrity and making sure that we have a really good lining that goes along our entire digestive tract and so um, there are different strains of bacteria that are housed in our microbiome and in our GI tract. Some of them are beneficial. And so we don't want to kill off the beneficial bacteria, but then also some can be not so beneficial and can actually cause some of that harm that we don't want to have. Mm -hmm. So one of the reasons why we might have some issues related to this kind of disbalance, maybe more unhealthy bacteria versus healthy bacteria is from having really high processed sugar foods. Um, it actually does cause a lot of inflammation that takes place in the GI tract. And we often think about issues in the GI tract as being like bloating, gas, diarrhea, constipation, but it doesn't always manifest in those types of ways. Those are just the symptoms that we typically see and then we think about. But really when you think about the gut lining and if there is that inflammation in between all of the little cells, cause now we're getting to a more specific layer, those cells start to allow different types of bacteria to go through them and get sent out through the entire bloodstream. And then that's where the systemic inflammation targeting different types of things can take place. So with Renadel, it is a probiotic. It's a specific probiotic for individuals with chronic kidney disease. So I am a huge proponent of that. And I'm I need everybody to know that not all probiotics are created the same. So please don't hear probiotic and go to the grocery store and pick up a probiotic and expect the same types of things. Okay. Great so, point there. Cause yes. I hear that all the time. You're like, Oh, I went to the dollar tree and they had a probiotic and it's on the shelf. It's like, no, 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 no. You need one that's alive. That's real. That's made for kidney patients. That's exactly it. Um, what I love about Renadel is that it, first of all, is replenishing the unhealthy bacteria. Um, it's, it's causing the healthy bacteria to regrow where we're having this dysbiosis take place. So it's putting us back into check. But then they also did a lot of studies related to how it can benefit the metabolites that are broken down? Is there a way for us to help support um, this type of function overall? And so what they are finding is that by introducing this, it is breaking down some of those toxins that typically the kidney would do. Mm -hmm. And it is now helping support that. So inadvertently, we are seeing a slower progression of kidney disease. So it's a really great addition to whatever you're already doing with your management. And I absolutely encourage you to talk to your physician and or your dietitian about starting this in addition to what you're already doing to just try to help with your care overall. Fantastic. I'm so glad to talk to, you know, every dietitian I've spoken to is in support of Renadil. I have not found a single one not familiar with it, um, or when they look at it, if there was one that was not familiar, if they look it up, they're all on board with it. They they look at the research that's there, and this is not a replacement for anything. This is like you said, this is in addition to what you're doing. And I also have one quick thing to share about it. Earlier today, Renadil posted, uh, as many people know. They also launched earlier. I today pretty much made three months 
since I got the gummy vitamins because I just ran out. I just noticed I ate my last two this morning. Um, they have a, a gummy multivitamin as well as their probiotic, and they just launched a special discount if anyone is looking to order it. They have a combo pack where you can get the, the probiotic and a month's supply of the uh, gummy multivitamins, and they have a discount, and I have I made a little thing with it right there. There it is. It is, they call it the bundle discount, and you use the code BUNDLE5, and that will take $5 off of a month's supply if anyone is out there looking for it. Um, this is not an affiliate link. I do not get paid if you guys buy it. I use it. You guys have no, I've, I've used it since I got diagnosed, taken the, the probiotic. I now enjoy these gummies right here, which are very tasty. Um, so kind of like a little promotion there for them mentioning that. Um, we got a couple questions here about Renadil. Someone said, and then there, there was also, a lot of people were talking about it. Um, is Can you take Renadil when your EGFR is low? This person's 11, they're not on dialysis. Is it something you would still recommend for someone to look at adding to their treatment strategy with that low of a, of a kidney function? Oh, yes, definitely. Um, this is something, again, it's not to replace anything. So you would still be taking all of your prescribed medications that you're taking with your nephrologist and your dietitian is working with. This is only in addition to supporting that. Um, so we've seen different types of benefits from CKD all the way through dialysis. So even on dialysis, this is something that you can take to help again, clean some of those toxins and metabolites. So when you're on dialysis, you have to think the kidneys are working 24 seven, right? And so when we're in just like an in-center setting, we're really taking what's done in a 24 seven environment and trying to squeeze it into 12 to 16 hours a week. If you're doing home dialysis, your treatments may be longer, but you're still not running that 24 seven. So the idea of having these metabolites of different types of toxins, that urea, those uric acids, those are still going to build up in between dialysis treatments. So this again is another way to help support that, to make sure that you're feeling better and to again, improve that gut integrity overall. So it's it's great no matter, even if you have a lower GFR, I highly recommend it. 